Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Tanya, Lady T, and yes, you stopped by my channel where I love sharing my passion for fashion and many other things. Well, today I just wanted to stop by and do a, what I want to call, I guess, food for thought, a play on words. Um, I love reading. I'm an avid reader. Um, and I also, because I'm a supervisor at work, I read and I review hundreds of emails a day and some of my CSRs um, if they haven't taken like communication classes whether it be in high school or in college one class that I truly enjoyed was communication or effective communication and what it was it was a class where of course you learn how to write complete sentences you know all that wonderful stuff about uh, you know composition English composition word placement and that type of thing um, but one thing I did enjoy about that class is that sometimes you have to consider your audience whenever you're reading an email meaning you might be emailing a buyer or a broker or a salesperson and they may have to read hundreds of emails a day just like I do or we do. And one thing that I'm a stickler on is I tell my CSRs, try to condense or summarize what you're saying in maybe one sentence. Again, consider your audience. A lot of times we cannot write emails like we talk. You know, uh, my fiance tells me all the time, you know, a female will use 500 words to describe something where a man will maybe only use 50 for instance and I thought about that I said you know you're right because we always want to be very descriptive very detailed and very specific to what we're talking about we don't want to leave any room for anybody to question what we're saying so we give a lot of information just like I'm doing right now in this video so whenever I am uh, writing emails in a business sense um, I try to keep out all the hoopla and all the blah 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 part and get specifically straight to the point of answering a question or giving the information requested because a lot of times I'll read some of my CSR's uh, email they might have me copied on it because they want me to you know make sure to, to be in the loop on if something is going on and I'm like reading this email and it's this long and all that person had to do was condense it to one sentence and maybe say the very same thing without all that information um, case in point if you're telling somebody that the truck okay here's the information we have the truck broke down because the uh, fuel pump went out then the brake line blew on the truck so now the truck is in the shop they've ordered the part uh, the part will be in tomorrow so this is going to delay delivery until you know a couple of days out well instead of writing an email and explain and stating that to the customer everything I just said just say due to mechanical issues your order will be delayed please change your delivery date to so-and-so time but what happens is we're so eager to get all the information to a person that we make them read all of this just to tell them that there was a mechanical issue and this will cause your delivery to be delayed so anyway I was talking to her I said all that and say that see see what I'm saying but hey I'm doing a video so I can be like this but uh, I said all that to say this is that I was talking with a friend of mine and she was telling me how she needed to find some products for her mother's hair she said because her hair her mother's hair is very hispid and I said hmm I've never heard of that so you know I'm, I'm pretty well educated but because we don't know all the words that are out there uh, we don't know all the meanings of certain words especially if you don't talk in that way all the time so I said, what What do you mean her hair is very hispy? She said, well, brittle and very coarse-like. I said, oh, okay. I said, I had never heard of that. 
And you know, we're always on YouTube, and I listen to different hair videos and hair topics. And I just said, oh my goodness. I said, I never knew who that was. So, of course, you know me. I get on, you know, and pull up in the dictionary, and, um, and that's what it means, you know, hair that is brittle and coarse in nature, especially on, you know, animals. But she was just given a description of how her mother's hair is in that shape. And she needed to find something to put on mother's hair without using a chemical. Because her mother doesn't want chemicals and all that. So I was just like, hmm, you know what? I'm going to do something like that maybe once a week. And uh, just a play on words. Or, you know, just, I guess, expanding your vocabulary. Some, some people may not be interested in that. But I always try to expand my vocabulary, not to impress anyone, but just to be able to use something different. And then when you are, are asked, just like I asked my friend, and uh, because I had never heard that word before, it just opens up conversation. Um, I have a lot of young nephews that are teenagers. I do a lot of mentoring. And I would like to use some of these type words so that it causes them to ask the question, well, what does that mean? And then it becomes a way of life for them to be inquisitive about things that they don't know. So they become interested in learning more about the things around them. So again, you know, sometimes it's not just for us, but for children, you know, they can cuss, but they can't count. They can rap, but they can't read. So I'm going to incorporate that, and I just thought about that whenever, like I said, when I was talking with my friend, I said, oh, okay, that's something I'm going to put out here and uh, on YouTube, just, again, just something else to bring into the mix of who we are, um, of broadening our horizons, broadening our vocabulary, and broadening our understanding of uh, things that we just don't know. So again, this what this video is about. This is about a play on words. And the word of the week is hispid. And that's spelled H-I-S-P-I-D. And it means coarse or brittle like hair. So anyway, just wanted to share that with y'all. And as Thanks always, so much for stopping by my channel. And checking out your girl Lady T to see what's going on. So anyway, let's... uh do a play on words and I like I said I'll probably do this maybe once a week and we can broaden our horizons y'all but anyway God bless you and peace be unto you bye bye